Thank you, Jesus. I smell someone who can't hold me. Time to cook. Bro swung them blades into the ice and pulled himself up into a flipping emote. Man swear he cradles for real. Then he hit a three-step gather, leaping all the way up into this walk down. And with that pull-up game, I knew it was straight grits for this boy Poe. Bro ain't locked in for real. He just sitting there glazing the ops. Like I know you just seen that, my guy. Bro finna go stupid. Bang. So Poe finally hops off Kai's Johnson, and Kai yes. had to give Mans his props. Finally. He already knew history of dude's dogness, but Bro was like, you know it's still up for you, right? And Poe like, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. Kai took that to heart, though, and started to round up the goons. Grease these goofies. He turned into a pro ping pong player, hitting all the ops to the top of the mountain. And tell me why these veteran bots pulling up to the fade like this. There ain't no way these doodle bobs posing this clean. This group flick gonna have all the dojos in shock. Even Poe was flabbergasted at the menace energy. They started running him down like bro stole they lunch. Crane came in hot, trying to give Poe that 1,000 year of death treatment. But man's <coughs> weaved that and caught the Gators chompers while calling out the infamous fade combos. The Nutter Brothers fleeing up, belly bumping Crane into the next dimension. Got Kyle over here like, Really, nigga? Poe dove through Crane's legs and turned this chicken into a McNugget with this backhand, barely escaping getting them cheeks munched on. But here comes another one of these childish old fade tactics. The three stooges came in and greased half the ops. Like, what in the world is this fade on, bruh? I don't know why these fools still chasing, dude. Like, they ain't noticed all these Home Alone traps this man Poe done set up. Bruh got home court advantage. But right here, we get our first sliver of some real fading. Shorty right here got right, boy. Call her Bruce Lena with these nunchucks. She went in with straight greasing intentions. Gave bro a facelift, then pulled his bro in for the BOGO deal. Then tied them boys up and gave them that mink mink 1000. And what do we have here? Here comes our favorite fraud. Everybody clap it up. Tigress of the Legendary Fraud 5. I swear we might as well change these fools' names to the Dallas Cowboys the way they stay on my fraud report. But I ain't gonna lie, she cooked with this one. Dropped a heel to snout on this Lacoste mascot, then kicked him in his jump, cause job's not finished. And an uppercut from the depths, then a backhand. Got bro heated. Bro looking like, this scheme really just hit me like that. Yeah, buddy. She weaved that heavy, and little mama right here wanted some action too. So Tigress kicked bro's jaws in and got caught in the combo on purpose. Like how that makes sense. So little mama could knock this boy's face to the side, then finish bro with the number four straight hands combo. The fade keeps going, and the little rascals start launching last year's fireworks at Smokey the Bear. But just as it looks like everything is going to plan, a real OG pulls up, and all he's seeing is red. I guess Brody forgot to put in his contacts, cause he ran noggin first into this frying pan. Then the dads come out to see if they gonna put this red panda lo mein on the menu next. All this fading doodle bobbery got Kai's senses wild. That boy finna crash out down there on that ice. And Poe took this chance to pull out one of his sneaky nation techniques. He rolled into a perfect snowball, catching Mans in a perfect skadoosh animation. But I guess Mans forgot to update his bag, cause he started dropping that finger and not jack squat well, happened bro bro kai had to play along because he felt bad for dude <laughs> man get that lame old junk on somewhere nigga i'm a spirit warrior boy you better put, put some, some respect, respect on, on my name. name he summoned the goons back and now it's time to put the beat down on this plot armor in his poke kai head butted brody in the gut got him sliding on the ice like an obese hockey puck then he activated his full court gallop and press Brody, but Poe got just enough dog left to get out of this three-piece dinner special to no avail though. Man's caught the legendary leg sweep, and right here, I thought Kyle was finna load up the uppercut of the century, but he was like, nah, that's too easy, and tossed bro in the air, showing off his 40-inch vertical, and kicked bro's stomach through his vertebral column. Poe flies through the gate, and now his whole fit tarnished. He looked up, and the fam looking at him like, you good, Gangy? And I'm over here just shaking my head. Like, what did you oh, just get yourself you into, my guy? It. I warned you about spamming that plot armor cheese, bruh. You gotta save that junk for special occasions. Fool use 80% of that junk on Ty Lung. The fam huddled around him, and he had to tell him the truth. Maybe bar $20 to the mall. 
My bad, fam. I misled y'all, boys. I'm not really like that. So run. Run. And all we hear in the distance is, I know y'all ain't trying to run, nigga. With Pose back against the wall, Kai couldn't miss this opportunity to diss that boy Ugoi. So Ugoi, this the goofy who was destined to stop me? A real doll like nigga? Then he dribbled that dual wheel butter knife around the whole game just so they know he was for real. He will grease one of y'all at any second. Poe looked back at the fan one last time and it looked like a light popped off in his head. Had bro thinking like Jimmy Neutron. That don't work. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. Polo key one of the coldest in the caption game. Bro stood up and said, Yeah, I can't send you back, but I can take you back, nigga. Then hit mans with the oldest trick in the book. What's that? Huh? Head tail. Then wrapped him up and skadoosed both him and Kai back to the spirit realm. So it pans back and Poe lets his nuts hang all over Kai's head. And bro ain't got no coordination. They're really just giving out titles these days. Cause bro landed dead on his noggin. Ain't, ain't no, no way, way boy. boy. Bro, I know Ugwe in his grave just swinging them little T-Rex arms at the air, bro. This nigga Poe selling. Bro knew he should have just gave Let that title to that boy tight. Him lung. The camera switches and Kai got straight to banging. He spammed that headbutt again and tried to grease Poe with the dualies. Had Poe sucking in his gut. Got him looking like them niggas that be wearing them purple skinny jeans. Bro, y'all gotta it. stop. Cut the Get tag off, brother. It ain't that serious. And I don't know how the strength attributes work in the spirit realm, but this man Kai was really in here in the yeah, weight room for real. Cause he pulled that whole chunk of rock at Poe. And DBC special punched him in the gut. And while bro coughing up his lungs, bro tied him up like Momoshiki and started packing him up for the meanest op pack in all the lands. Poe knew it was up too, boy. He just accepted fate. But what's the common theme in all these Hanfu Panda movies? If you guessed all the pandas got plot armor cheese, you were correct. See? Now this the real reason that boy Shan tried to grease their whole existence out this world. It makes sense now. All the fam held out their hands, and Poe could feel the dog energy surging in his veins. The energy exploded, and Kai got oh, sent back, baffled, flabbergasted. It pans back, and Poe just over here admiring his new drip. Got Kai questioning himself, who is this nigga? Who am I? Glad you asked, my guy. Bro started spamming animations. Poe one of them fools who buys the full maxed out battle pass as soon as it drops, day one. But them animations had a purpose this time. Man's is the modern day Da Vinci. He drew up this dragon and was like, nigga me? Oh, I'm just a dragon warrior. Get it? Cause like, the dragon? Anyways, it's up for you, my boy. Poe took him on a pre-fade victory lap around the realm, but Kyle wasn't having it and initiated round two of this fade. But of course, all this boy Poe thinks about is eating. He chomped on the butter knife and put Kai in that belly to butt combo ender, then slurped up bro dual wheel like a spaghetti noodle. He then catches Kai with his guard down and starts pulling him through mad rocks. But dude got that metal plate in his jaw like John John and starts talking that cash. Boy, it took me 500 years to fade that turtle Ugoi. I'll fade you too, even if it take me 500 more. Poe like, Yapperton, Yapperton. Is that all you do? Kai pressed him. Then Poe had to switch into try hard mode. He rubbed them palms together and coated his hands in that plot armor cheese dust. Bro's fingers looking like mine's when I finished a bag of Cheetos. Bro got into his best Kamehameha pose and sent all his oh. plot armor at bro. Got that boy feeling amazing. Man thought he could conquer the world with that much plot armor. Bye. This doodle bob didn't read the fine print. I told you, it's only for the pandas. His goons popped out of his Louis V belt and dude looking mad confused. All that plot armor cheese gave him a case of the runs and now dude exploded on sight. After that, Poe teleported to that boy Ugwe to get his tier 100 battle pass weapon. Then Franklin the turtle sent that nigga on his way. He popped back up on the fan with all the drip intact, boy. Boy think he got that junk on for real. And now he is the real dragon warrior. Bruh, once again, these villains gotta learn. This panda is not with the games, my guy. He is the game. Y'all better put some respect on that plot armor menace himself. Anyways, 5k likes, and I'll get on the making of Hemfu Panda 4. So make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. And also, go ahead and buy them heads. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for once again blessing the Jutsu Mafia. All I ask for is your continued help and strength in both the good and bad times. We thank you for always being there for us when we need a shoulder to lean on and listening to us when we need somebody to listen. We just continue to ask for you to renew our minds so we can continue and grow our relationship with you. In your name I pray. Amen. Ah, uh, Thea. Jusu Mafia. Hidden Technique.
Peace.